days, it's not just what you learn in the classroom. And it's experiencing the day-to-day -day of what it would be like to be a researcher, and that's what students get here. They get the time in the laboratory, but they also get professional development opportunities through our seminar series. This is the ninth year of the program, actually. Students uh, get the opportunity to learn about making presentations, scientific writing. Um, it really runs the gamut. Here at TGen, we look at neurological disease, diabetes, cancer, infectious disease, and so students are embedded in specific labs, and we'll do projects based on that lab's ultimate goal. This research is all about the patient. I'm working on establishing um, a transgenic model. It just basically means mutated. What we'll be doing once we have this model is we'll be um, injecting them with mutated Keras protein. After that, we can observe whether or not different types of drugs are efficient in curing this cancer. With this transgenic um, zebrafish, basically they're kind of uh, mutated so they don't have any of these stripes. This is the mutated zebrafish. As you can see, it doesn't have any of the stripes that a typical zebrafish would have. These students were selected from an applicant pool of over 600 students from all over Arizona. And so from 600 to 45 really shows you that these students stood out and are really making a difference here at TGen now. The cells that you saw in the other room, those, uh, I, those are the ones I used for my experiment. And I collect the cells and the stuff the cells grow in because I'm interested in looking at all the proteins in there. But once I get those proteins, there's a lot of prep work involved. To do all of that prep, I need to put a lot of chemicals in them um, that don't really work well with a mass spec. So this particular thing that I'm doing today is going to get rid of all of that stuff. And it's called um, solid phase extraction, or SPE for short. So if you look at it, as soon as I put in the acid, you see this white cloudy stuff. And that's a precipitate. That's the solid that's coming out. Um, and once I do that with all the samples, I will put them in, uh, in a uh, filter, kind of this filter plate. And the vacuum will suck all of the liquid through. Everything that you use in practice um, comes from this, comes from this entire process of research. And uh, not being involved in that would definitely leave a void in my life. This is primarily an undergraduate program, but we have a handful of high school students each year. You'll see high school students working next to undergraduates, working next to graduate students, and they're all working together towards a common goal. We love checking up with our interns because we've seen that they're in a variety of careers. We've cultivated a community of mentors. So yes, each student has a mentor that they work with, but they can go to anyone in the laboratory and feel comfortable asking questions and talking about what they're seeing. My favorite part is interacting with these students because they have so much passion and they care so much and they know that they're the next generation and the ones that are really going to advance us to the next discoveries and they, you can feel that in the air and so I really love working with these students and encouraging them and seeing how far they can truly go in just eight weeks. This is incredibly valuable to me trying to learn as many things as possible and um, I don't mind it at all, honestly, it's fun. I don't know, I wouldn't have it any other way.